Annie MacDonald Stone, a resident of Mount Dora and wife to William Stone, found herself a single mother when her husband mysteriously disappeared one day. He was never seen nor heard from again, and it's said that Annie's hair turned white the day of his disappearance. This left her as a landowner in her own right, often unheard of in those times for women in Florida. She later married John P. Donnelly in 1881. He had gained success in the citrus and real estate industries and would later go on to become the first mayor of Mount Dora. J.P. had the magnificent George Barber house built in 1893 as a gift to Annie. The Donnellys had hoped to have children together, but sadly never did, and Annie passed away in 1908, her daughter dying shortly after. J.P. lived in the house until his death in 1930. The house was then purchased by another prominent resident, D.F. Gorham, and after his death during the Great Depression, the house was purchased by the Masons in 1939. The house still serves to this day as Masonic Lodge No. 238 and has had many alterations, including the removal of its grand staircase. It's believed that Annie haunts the house, with reports of her in a long white gown with her youthful dark hair flowing loose. But could there also be spirits of Masons who like to watch over their beloved temple? On a cool evening, we investigated the historic Donnelly House with our friends Eddie and Richard of Paranormal 54. And although it seemed a relatively quiet evening, there were some surprises on review of the footage. So please join us as we investigate the Donnelly House in Mount Dora, Florida. Oh, hello, I'm Debbie. I'm John. Oh. I'm Richard. I'm Ann. I'm Eddie. Or Abe, you can call me Abe. If anyone is here, can you please touch one of our pieces of equipment to let us know you're here? Did you used to live here? Looks. Hmm. Hello. Now yeah, you've seen that it lights up green and the other side will light up red. Do you think you could try and light the other side up red for us? See if you could do that. That thing going on over here with my chair, it's doing like little baby taps. Okay. Are you feeling any vibrating? Like is the house just vibrating? Or is it my imagination or my thing happening? You. You're not feeling any vibration. You're not. Nobody. That's a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> that means somebody's here then. They're just maybe measuring us up, maybe watching us. Well, if you are here, why don't you go over there and tap that bell? I made the exact same light fixtures in my kitchen. Those aren't in the pattern. No, they're not. Rem REM pod. Yep. I heard a thump right before the REM pod went off too. So did I. Me too. It's the one on the stairs, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. If you don't want us to be here, can you make that blue light go off? There's a concierge bell on the podium in the middle of the room. If you'd like us to leave, you can tap that bell.
that sounded like a footstep over there. That sounded like a footstep over there. That sounded like a footstep over there. No, I can't see what I was paying attention. No, man. I really thought I heard a woman's voice over there in that direction. But I don't know, I couldn't catch anything other than it sounded like a woman's voice. We really didn't feel we were getting much, so we decided to head downstairs. William, are you here with us? Is it you that wants justice? seemed to have been a rather uneventful night and John decided to try an immersion session but as he really had nothing come through he opted for an SD session for one last try at communication. creepier. What? What? You heard from up there? I didn't hear anything. I just felt. That, that's all I get. That's all I got was something and upstairs. I just, everything felt like whatever energy was in that space is what's kind of dominating right now. I think it's avoiding us. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. It doesn't want us here. Yeah. I kept getting in my head, like, kind of get out, get out. I don't want you in my house. But it didn't feel like it was, uh, like, Annie or John. It felt like it was someone else. I feel like Annie's here. What's that? I feel like Annie is here. I mean, she might be, but that's not she what I was picking like up. She feels like a really strong presence. Yes. 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 Asked, nobody's asked a question. <laughs> that was me, but what's... That's a REM pod upstairs. REM pod upstairs, yeah. Uh-huh. Neat. Who did that? Could you do it again? Nobody asked a question out loud, but I asked 
mentally. Yeah. Is there anyone here? And he said yes. Uh huh. Can you do it? Do what? Can you tell John your name, please? Upstairs? It doesn't sound like it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. Is it? Someone on the landing. A scream. A female scream. Papers. Papers. Describe it. Yes. Are there any members of the Donnelly family here with us this evening? If so, get out. We're not welcome. Are we not welcome? Are we not welcome? Why do you want us to get out? Stop it. You're too near. We're too near what? Apparently whoever it was didn't have the stones to tell me straight up to leave. He said down here, get out. This is mine? Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. I was talking to you. Well, he yeah. could have told me straight to my face, and I would have. <laughs> Lickety split. When you say this is mine, do you mean the house? Is that Annie or John? The K2 meter hasn't gone off at all. It did earlier just the once though, right? You yeah. saw it going off, yeah. Or you did. It was you that saw it. You're gonna look out back. And then you'll find it. I her on the phone though. Because the one that was right here went off. And then um, this went off. While you were walking this way. Ah. Uh, yes. Maybe. You're gonna look out back and then we'll find it. Okay. Find what? There. Why are you here? He was. Who was? What's keeping you here? You can't handle it? <laughs> Could you tell us what year it is? Could you tell us who the president is? No, it wasn't. or make sense. No. Should probably just pull him out. It's basically just wasting time. I think so. Yeah. Who wants to do the job? <laughs> yeah, you do it. <laughs> fight. You gonna fight her? <laughs> Does anybody else want to have a go at doing the Estes? Should I zoom in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he usually 
had the little jump scares. I hear some voices because um, the guys were outside talking. Hello? I'm Debbie. I don't mean to be disrespectful. I would just like to talk to you. Is there anybody here that would like to talk? We're here in. Masonic Lodge in Mount Dora, Florida, in the Donnelly House. <coughs> very, very beautiful old house. The George Barber House. John Donnelly and his wife Annie built the house. They didn't have any children, although they wanted children. Annie did have a daughter from a previous marriage. She was married to William. But William one day just mysteriously disappeared and nobody knows what happened to him. And William and Annie had a daughter, Eleanor was called Nellie. Sadly, Nellie died, I think at the age of 21 after being sick with tuber tuberculosis. And Nanny herself died not too long after, I believe two years later, of the flu, and she died up here. Hello, could you step inside here? Hello, could you come in here to me? And it's believed that this area over here originally was Annie and John's bedroom, the main suite. The walls have been knocked down now. So it's one big room up here. And the windows, the glass has been changed now. It's been a Masonic Lodge now since 1939, so a long time. Um, John and Annie chose the, the house from a book of designs of houses. But they chose some different things like the round window and a tower or turret on the front. They really made a beautiful home. They only lived here for 15 years together though, before Annie passed away. 
They had a third floor built, but didn't finish it fully, but they intended to have children together. And the third floor was going to be for the children, but they never did sadly have any children. So I'm going to set the camera down. The music box over there, there's one put out in the hall. We have a bell, one put over here, and a few cat balls. Excuse me, there's quite a few cat balls and there's been no cat ball activity whatsoever. We have a few things downstairs and really it's been a quiet night. That's the guys downstairs coming back in. <coughs> Could you give me any kind of communication? Do we have any proper masons here? I do apologize for our rowdiness. We don't really mean to be disrespectful and I'm so sorry. Probably did seem we were very disrespectful with our rowdiness. But we're just having a good time. That's all. Do I have the wrong light on? No wonder it's so bright. There. Okay, the IR is on. Yeah, IR is on. All right. I don't really know a lot about the Freemasons. I know you've been around as a, the Freemasons have been around for a long, long time. A lot longer than I realized. Noises downstairs. How do you feel about us all coming into your, your building? Well, we've tried lots of different things. We've tried um, SDs. Nothing really is happening. So I think we're gonna try the guys all coming up here or, that was my tummy. So then we're gonna try just all the guys in here and then after that, all the girls. To me. Do you think you could find the music box for me? At this point, everybody was tired and we decided to call it a night. Although not super active for us, we may return one day to see if Annie and John might warm up to us and be willing to communicate and tell their stories. But for now, we say goodbye to the Donnelly house. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe if you haven't already and please consider becoming a member to support the channel and get early access to videos and exclusive content.